Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC12 in Salt Lake City at the Nodal booth. I'm here with Fred Homewood. You're the CTO, I believe. That's right. Right, yeah. right. And so you guys are here with the scientists and talking about adaptive load balancing. Can you explain that in terms of HPC? What does that mean? Okay, so what that, what that basically means is at the edge, uh, you, you've got Ethernet connectivity, which is what everybody wants to be able to get through their system. Behind that, what you normally get in Ethernet uh, with Spanning Tree and other resource over subscription, behind that, you actually get a restriction in that the, the e Ethernet naturally congests those onto a single route between endpoints in a fabric. What we do behind the scenes is we load balance across all the available fabric between those boxes. So for example, if you took this box here, uh, this bottom box here, it's got 40 ports of 10 gig, which you might use in a rack, eight ports of 40, go 40 gig going up in, into the fabric. What you get with conventional ethernet is load through one of these ports would get concentrated over just one of those fabric ports. What we do with our adaptive load balancing is we push that across all the available fabric. What that means is with a big box like this, a big 72 port box that we announced uh, this year at Interop, uh, this box here can connect up to 72 of these and you load balance across all that available fabric. Okay, so, so this is like a, a central hub kind of thing, yes. uh, interconnect, and, and these would be the leaves, right? Yes, so, that's true, but uh, better than that, in, in the, the, this is a central hub, these, can, these are redundant, so you'd use up to eight of these and you'd spread those across the floor, you'd pr spread those potentially across fire zones, or certainly across supply zones, such that if you see any one of your big rails go down, or you know something catastrophic happens in your network, all of your fabric can still set at a slightly reduced throughput, uh, but but it's all there. So you're really at the heart of the network in the data center. That's right. This box is designed to really be central to data systems, HPC systems, storage storage systems, whatever you have got. Okay. okay. And and what do we have over here? Is this a different version? So yeah, we've we've got a we've got a we're now selling th five different boxes. We've got uh, this is this is the big fabric box. We've got a small fabric box with just 18 ports. We've got an intermediate fabric box with 36 ports. This box here is just all 72 ports brought out as 10 gig. So if you've got a fairly small, well, small, say small, but 72 port 10 gig uh, requirement, that will provide all that requirement before you then step up to this uh, leaf spine type system. Um, although we're not restricted to leaf spine, our fabric can be any topology. It can be grid, uh, tall grid, any any topology you like. That's one beauty of what we've got. Whatever you wire up as your, your uh, topology, we just, we just load balance across it. Well, that's very cool, Fred. So, you know, you're here in the U.S. Uh, uh, how do you sell, uh, you know, globally? Is there channel partners or how, how do you get So we, we've got a number of channel partners. I know we, I say we're UK based. We're actually a global organization. Uh, we have a U.S. corporation. Uh, uh, we've now, now got uh, we've grown significantly our U.S. sales presence. Uh, our CEO is based here in the U.S. And we've now got a, a group of SEs uh, sales and sales executives across the country, so New York, Chicago, Houston, and obviously the West Coast as well. So we're, we're a global organization. We are selling in Europe as well, if you want to buy stuff and you're in Europe.